Their name is plastered on the home of the Super Bowl winning Denver Broncos, but Sports Authority may be at a financial low point. The Englewood based company may be filing for bankruptcy soon. Number 7's Brenda Lee Gonzalez is live at Sports Authority Field at Mile High Stadium. Brenda Lee, you learn the company continues to pay millions to have their name up there behind you. They do. They pay six million, around six million a year for this, and experts say they should keep paying no matter what because it's worth every penny. When it comes to having your name a mile high for everyone to see, it's everything. Dan Price works in sports marketing and represented Invesco. That's the company that used to own the naming rights to Mile High Stadium until the Sports Authority bought their contract out for around six million a year. Branding is the difference between a pair of swim goggles that cost three dollars, put a Nike logo on them, and they're worth ten. However, reports this month show the company is in financial trouble, missing a $21 million payment to its lenders. Price doesn't think the money spent on the stadium is to blame. When people look at Sports Authority and they have other choices, they might say, well, I'm going to go with Sports Authority because they support my favorite team. Six million is pocket change compared to other companies naming rights. MetLife Insurance pays some $18 million a year for their naming rights for their stadium. AT&T pays nearly $20 million a year for rights to where the Dallas Cowboys play. I would say if you can afford to keep the name, keep the name. A spokesman for the Broncos tells Denver 7 the sports authority hasn't missed a payment yet. There's just that loyalty that comes with it that you can't, you can't pay for in a commercial. A spokesperson for the Sports Authority has yet to respond to our uh, request for a comment about their financial situation. As for their name up here, well, it's going to stay up here. They have another payment, though, coming up in August. Reporting live at Mile High, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, Denver 7.